they announced this like four o'clock today. It was not too long ago that they're doing another Toy Story and Frozen and uh, and they're doing a Way of Water experience coming to Disneyland. Um, so let's just read this real quick because I kind of want to talk about this. Um, after the difficult news he had to deliver about layoffs and losses, Disney CEO Bob Iger announced several big news items for fans during the company's earning call for the year 2022 for the end of 2022 quarter on Wednesday, which is today. For animated film lovers, Iger announced that two new sequels to massive franchises, Toy Story and Frozen, were in development, and a sequel to the animated comedy Zootopia was also announced. The Toy Story uh, franchise consists of four theatrical chapters with one spinoff with Lightyear. Although the latter film underperformed, Toy Story 3 and Toy Story 4 both made more than $1 billion at the worldwide box office. And actually, guys... That's not the only movie that made over a billion dollars. There's no, there's no question why they're doing this. Because uh, I saw some people online uh, saying like, oh, they're doing another Frozen. I can understand that. Oh, they're doing another um, Zootopia. I can understand that. But why are they going back to Toy Story? Why are they going back to Toy Story 5? Um, the, the last one ended so well, which ironically is what we said about Toy Story 3 before they did Toy Story 4. So that's kind of funny. But, but not only did Toy Story 4 make a billion dollars, both Frozen 2 and Zootopia they made a billion dollars as well. So these are all billion dollar franchises. I'm not surprised in the least that they're all getting sequels. But the big um, conversation mark of this is Toy Story 5. Do we need it? Do we need Toy Story 5? Um, I would say no. <laughs> I would say no, we don't need Toy Story 5. I mean, the Toy Story series has already ended twice. So I guess we're going to end it for a third time. And the way that they ended Toy Story 4... I'd be very curious to see how they're going about Toy Story 5 because they did introduce some new characters. So it would be interesting if they're trying to pass the torch. But money is money, guys. Toy Story 4 made a billion. It's a billion dollar franchise. And when, when you, they tried to spin it off, like the article said, with Lightyear, Lightyear didn't do too well. Audiences do not did not gravitate towards Lightyear. If, if it had been a big success, they would not be looking at another Toy Story fire. They would have been looking at other a Lightyear sequel or Lightyear or another uh, Toy Story spinoff. The fact that Lightyear didn't perform is exactly why they're going back to the drawing board and exactly why we're getting Toy Story five. Which with Toy Story four, I was a little bit more optimistic for them doing a Toy Story four because. There was this huge gap between Toy Story 3 and Toy Story 4. I believe Toy Story 3 was 2011 and Toy Story 4 was 2019. So they had been away from it for a while. And uh, I felt like if they were coming back to Toy Story 4 after ending it so well in Toy Story 3, they had to have had a good story. They have had to have had a reason to come back with Toy Story 4. And luckily, that's how it kind of turned out to be. However... Toy Story 4 was only 2019. Now we're going. Now they're announcing Toy Story 5 in 2023. That's not as big of a gap from Toy Story 3. I do not have the same confidence with them doing a Toy Story 5 as I did with Toy Story 4. This one kind of feels like they're just doing it for the money. This one kind of feels like they're just doing Toy Story 5 because Toy Story 4 made a lot of money. We got to keep that money train going, and they're going to do another Toy Story 5. I would hope. I would really hope that they wouldn't do that with Toy Story because Toy Story is like is one of their most prized franchises, and uh, and I feel like they're very protective about Toy Story and and that franchise. I feel like they really want to preserve the legacy of it and and have it do well. I want to believe that. I really badly want to think that that's their motivations, but it's Hollywood. It's Hollywood, and where the money is, that's where they go. And Toy Story Four made a crap ton of money. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of there being a Toy Story 5? Frozen 3 makes sense to me. I mean, Frozen 2 uh, kind of expanded the world, totally left it open for more adventures to be in that world. Zootopia. I've been waiting for a Zootopia sequel a little bit. I really liked the first Zootopia. I was actually kind of surprised that Zootopia's made a billion dollars. That movie just kind of felt like it flew under some people's radar. Um, but I really enjoyed Zootopia, so I'm looking forward to that sequel. But Toy Story 5, a little hesitant on. Let me know your thoughts, guys. And uh, we got some more uh, convers we got some more questions in here, so let's keep going.